Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to BFA St. Albans for an early season rivalry game as the Bob Whites host the MVU Thunderbirds. My name is Bryce Batchelder. Thank you so much for watching on Northwest Access TV. As a reminder, this broadcast would not be possible without our community partners. Thank you to Northwestern Rehab Services, Sticks and Stuff and Swanton Lumber, Northwest Counseling and Support Services, Afterglow, Notch Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank. A giant block to start the game by Tabor Rich. Collins Perley Sports and Fitness Center. If your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games of Franklin County athletes, Contact 802-782-8676. A sponsorship script taking away from the exciting start to this one. BFA controlled the tip. MVU with the giant block by Tabor Rich. But MVU turns it back over. BFA turns it back over. Exactly what we're looking for from a rivalry game. A three-point attempt. Fouled. It's good. Reed Myers gets the scoring started. 
MVU out to an early three to nothing lead, 7.26 to go in the first quarter. BFA foul on number 15, William Hughes. That's his first, team's first. Well, Reed Myers tries to convert the rare four point play. Let me give you the starters for MVU. Reed Myers, the man with all four points in this game so far. Number two, number 12, Gage Rembert. 14, Cole Johnston. 20, Tabor Rich. 22, Gavin Nichols. MVU is coached by Matt Walker. And starting for the Bob Whites, number 11, Brady Cutting. 15, William Hughes. 34, Gabe Howergan. 42, Reed Steigles. And 44, Justin Munger. BFA having a tough time getting through MVU's defense. Ball loose. Credit Justin Munger. Not giving up on that rebound, even though it looked like MVU was going to come down with a loose ball. Munger draws the foul. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That MVU foul on number 22, Gavin Nichols. That's his first, team's first. Now remember, this year in high school basketball, changes to the team foul rules. Team fouls now reset after each quarter instead of at the half. And when, e when a team reaches five fouls per quarter is when the other team goes into the bonus as Justin Munger goes two for two from the line, make it a four to two game just over a minute into this one. And also, no more one and ones this year in Vermont High School basketball. Tabor Rich with the turnaround jumper in the lane, make it six to two MVU lead. Excellent passing from BFA. Justin Munger finishes it off. Thanks to the pass from Brady Cutting. Makes it a 6-4 game. 6.30 to go in the first quarter. We get another foul call. Both coaches unhappy with their teams at the moment. But a reminder, team fouls reset after each quarter. When a team reaches five team fouls, the other team goes into the bonus, and it is automatically two shots this year. No one and ones. MVU takes the ball out. Goes down to Rich. Rich short on his jumper from the block. BFA comes up with the rebound. MVU playing a 2-3 zone. Trapped in the corner. Gabe Horrigan needs some help, just gets it out to William Hughes. Hughes gonna reset things up top. Hughes divides the defense. Streaks down the lane, loses the ball, out of bounds. It'll be MVU. Possession, a good idea from William Hughes. Successfully split the defense up at the free throw line. But MVU's 2-3 zone collapsing in the lane. Didn't give him a, a clear shot or a clear passing lane. Forces the turnover. BFA putting on a man-to-man -man full court press, but a pretty loose full court press. Happy to show some pressure and then quickly back off. Good perimeter defense from Gaithier. Gaithier with the steal. Baseline floater attempt. Blocked by Reed Myers. <laughs> Myers and Gaithier are sharing a laugh about it. Reed Steigles with her, his first two points of the game. Ties the ball game at six, just under five and a half to go in the first quarter. Steigles with a nice look. Cutting down the lane, gets the inbounds pass. Rich now tries to turn the corner into the key, loses the ball, picked up by Rich. Excuse me, that was Myers who lost the ball. Rich though, gonna be called for the travel. Coach Walker pleading with the official for a foul call, claiming Rich was pushed. Doesn't change the call, however. BFA swings the ball around the three-point line. Excellent ball movement once again. Munger finds Steigles. 
with the baseline cut. Staggles doesn't convert, but he is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. MVU foul on number 20, Tabor Rich. That's his first, team second. Staggles hits the front end. Staggles has one for two from the line, but offensive rebound, Gabe Harrigan makes the layup, is fouled. He'll go to the line for the old school three-point play. MVU foul on number 12, Gage Rembert. That's his first, team's third. Gabe Harrigan at the line to shoot one. Hits it, three points for Gabe Harrigan in the early going, extends BFA's lead 10 to six. Three-point attempt, short for Reed Myers. MVU ends up with it. Down low, Gage Rembert somehow with the right-handed finger roll underneath the defender's arm, gets that one to roll in. Refs will catch Reed Myers with the hand check. That's Myers first. Team's fourth, 4.30 to go in this first quarter. So remember, next MVU team foul, BFA will be in the bonus for the remainder of just the quarter. MVU sticking with their 2-3 zone. Justin Munger setting up down low. MVU gets the turnover. Reed Myers with the tip. Caden Chevrier catches the loose ball. Here comes Rembert again, stuck on the low block. Passes out to Nichols. Turns the ball over, cutting, hustling down the floor, takes it himself. Didn't get a clean shot off, but gets fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. Foul on number 22, Gavin Nichols. That's his second, team's fifth. MVU, or BFA rather, in the bonus for the rest of the first quarter. An exciting game early on, a tight one. BFA with a slim 10 to eight lead, just over halfway through the first quarter. Some scoring leaders for you for MVU, Reed Myers with four points, and Gage Rembert and Tabor Rich, respectively with two. And for BFA, Justin Munger leading his team with four, and Gabe Howrigan and Reed Steigles with three apiece. William Hughes with the lone foul for BFA so far, while Gavin Nichols for MVU has two personals. Coach Walker gonna have to make some decisions about him, but it looks like Nichols is coming back out on the court. Coach Walker showing some trust in the junior. And then Tabor Rich and Gage Rembert, each with a foul apiece. Braden Cutting at the line to shoot two. Makes the first. Cutting two for two. Puts BFA up 12 to eight, 350 to go in the first quarter. Reed Myers with the fake and step in, but shot just short. Gaithier now finds cutting, cutting for three. Off the back rim. Offensive rebound by Reed Steigles and the putback. He now has five points, puts BFA up 14 to eight, three and a half to go in the first quarter. Ball knocked away, cutting. 
Cutting is fouled by Reed Myers. Reed Myers with the swipe. MVU crowd hoping that was going to be ruled a block. No such luck. And that is, excuse me, called on Cole Johnston instead. So I think Reed Myers' block was clean, but Johnston got cutting with the body. So cutting at the line to shoot two. He makes the first. BFA on a nine to nothing run right now. Cutting goes one for two, but offensive rebound by Lockerbie. Doesn't finish. And Tabor Rich gets fouled. So BFA foul on number 42, Reed Steigles. His first, team second. 3.13 left in the first quarter. BFA once again showing their soft man-to-man -man full court press. And backing into their half court man-to-man -man defense. Joshua Young Short on the shot, gets his own offensive rebound. Taken away by Gaithier. Evan Gaithier and Brady Cutting just being absolute pests in their perimeter defense. Exactly what Coach Menard is looking for. MVU foul on number one, Joshua Young, his first. Keith here hits the first. Goes two for two. Keith here now his first two points of the game. BFA. After trailing early, now opening up a nine point lead up 17 to eight with 250 to go. Gavin Nichols brings the ball up for the Thunderbirds. Three pointer for Reed Myers is good. A basket MVU desperately needed. Myers now with seven of MVU's 11 points. Cuts their deficit down to six, trailing 17-11. Gavin Nichols gets the rebound from the shot off the backboard. Finds Johnson. Johnson with a step back three. He's gonna be called with the travel though. That move works for James Harden in the NBA. Not quite in high school ball where they actually do call travels. <laughs> William Hughes takes it himself down the lane. His first two points of the evening. BFA up 19-11. Two minutes to go in the first quarter. Myers in the corner again. Trying to turn dribbles behind his back. Stellar defense by Davian Jones. Rembert has to pick up the ball, finds Myers again. Myers with the baseline floater over the outstretched hands of Justin Munger. Ball doesn't uh, land though. Neither does it for BFA. Had a couple of opportunities. Reed Myers ends up with the long rebound. Remember, down low to Young. I think Evan Gothier is going to be called for his first personal foul, team's third. One minute, 16 seconds left in the opening quarter.
Ball just barely gets to Myers. Myers, another three, just bounces out. Rebounded by Lockerbie. Kicked out to the corner. Gothier, his three, rattles outside the rim. Myers trying to pass that one up. Ruled off of, the, uh, off of MVU. MVU claiming it was tipped, and I think it was tipped, but I think after it was tipped off of BFA, it did hit the MVU player once more before going out of bounds. Either way, BFA turns it over. Myers, another three. Myers getting close. Ball just bouncing out of the cylinder. BFA ball with 43.7 to go. MVU still in their 3-2 zone, or 2-3 zone, excuse me. Two th this time pays off. Nichols with the steal. 20 seconds left. Nichols trying to hold for the last shot. Picked up the ball a little too soon. Coach Matt Walker wisely calling a timeout to preserve the final possession of the first quarter with 13.2 seconds remaining. Coming out of the time, timeout, 13.2 seconds left in this first quarter. MVU with possession. MVU trailing BFA 11 to 19 after having the early lead. Trying to finish the quarter on a strong note. 10 seconds, Tabor Rich. Ball is knocked out of bounds. It'll be MVU inbounding. With just over nine seconds left. Turns it over on the inbounds pass. Not a clean cross court pass. Jones now. Three point up off the front of the rim from Ryan Lockerbie. And at the end of one, BFA leads the Thunderbirds by a score of 19-11. While we have a break between quarters, this broadcast would not be possible without our community partners. Thank you to Northwestern Rehab Services, Sticks and Stuff and Swanton Lumber, Northwest Counseling and Support Services, Afterglow, Notch Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank, and the Collins Pearly Sports and Fitness Center. If your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games of Franklin County athletes, contact 802-782-8676. As we start the second quarter, BFA with the 19-11 lead over MBU. MBU started this game with a 10-8 lead. And then BFA went on an 11-0 run. Scoring leaders so far for MVU, Reed Myers with seven points. Gage Rembert and Tabor Rich each with two apiece. And for the Bob Whites, Reed Steigles leads his team with five, Justin Munger with four, Gabe Howergan and Brady Cutting with two, and Evan Gothier and William Hughes each with two. MVU with the opening possession here in the quarter. No good. 
a strong take from William Hughes. Gives him four points on the night. Puts BFA up by 10, 21-11. Myers with another three. That one's good. Myers now two for five from three on the night. Puts him in double digits. He has 10 of MVU's 14 points. Two for five from three, a pretty darn good percentage, especially for high school ball. Gavin Nichols with the fast break. Misses the layup, but is fouled. Maybe made the layup a little bit harder on himself than he needed to, outstretching his arms, but nevertheless draws the foul. Referee's talking things over. BFA foul on number 11, Brady Cutting. That's his first. Remember, new rules this year. Team fouls reset after each quarter. So it's now BFA's first team foul of the second quarter. Gavin Nichols misses the first. Goes one for two from the line. Strong take from Justin Munger, turned away at the rim by Tabor Rich. Even though MVU's trailing, they've had some strong defensive moments. Three pointer, no good. Offensive rebound by Tabor Rich. His put back, no good. BFA quickly coming the other way. William Hughes with the drive, fakes the pass, fakes the kick out, kept it himself, draws the foul. MVU foul on number 12, Gage Rembert. That's his second first team foul of the second quarter. It's now Gage Rembert and Gavin Nichols both with two personal fouls for MVU. Coach Walker electing to keep both of them on the floor. William Hughes misses the first. Goes one for two from the line. William Hughes now with five points on the evening. BFA up 22-15. Just under six and a half left in the second quarter. Remember, it hands it off to Johnson. Johnson going to launch the three off the rim. Valiant effort from Tabor Rich to save the ball, but goes straight to BFA. A strong take from William Hughes. Turned away, BFA. Crowd wondering where the if there is a foul call coming. Certainly looks like contact, but referee is electing to play on. For what it's worth, Coach Menard not arguing the, the, uh, the no call. As we get a timeout with 6.10 to go in the second quarter. BFA leading MVU 22 to 15. Coming out of the timeout, 6-10 remaining in the second quarter. BFA leads MVU 22-15. to 15. BFA inbounding the ball underneath their own basket. 
Inbounding pass tipped away. It was meant for Reed Seigels. William Hughes goes all the way into the backcourt to recover it, winning the foot race. PFA setting up their zone offense. MVU staying in that 3-2 two, that, uh, zone. Bit of a 3-2 matchup zone. Justin Munger down in the corner, kicks it out to Hughes. Hughes getting a reset once again. The advantage of no shot clock in Vermont high school basketball. If something's not working, you have time to pull it back out and reset and start things all over. Three-pointer is good from Brady Cutting. Cutting with six points puts BFA back up by 10, 25-15, with 5.15 to go in the second quarter. Myers. Called for the travel, basket doesn't count. Baseline drive stopped. Now back to Hughes in the corner. Throws it all the way out to Cutting. Over to Hughes, Hughes looking around. Seigels tries to find Justin Munger in the lane. We're gonna get a foul called. MVU foul on number 22, Gavin Nichols. That's his third personal. Stays with BFA. Now Coach Walker going to take Gavin Nichols out with three personals. Steigles gets the ball at the free throw line, so quickly surrounded by three MVU defenders. Their zone collapsed on him, loses the ball out of bounds. MVU possession. Myers down to Rich. Stolen by Munger. Munger, no one ahead of him. Tries to dunk, misses, follow up, misses from Brady Cutting. MVU now with a five on two. Five on three, however. And Gage Rembrandt loses it out of bounds. Both teams in that sequence getting a little out of control, forcing some mistakes. Three-pointer up from Hughes. No good. Off of BFA, MVU ball. Halfway through the second quarter. Down to Rich. Rich gonna drive with his left hand along the baseline. Shut down by Steigles. Turns the ball over. Hughes with a strong take, lays it in, now has seven points. BFA up 27 15. Three and a half to go in the second quarter. Rich with a nice pump fake. Throws the ball up. Play on, says the official. Reed Seigels with the rebound. BFA will take the ball out of the sideline. Hughes running the offense for BFA. Lockerbie and Steigles trying to set up in the post around the zone. Tries to get the ball down to Lockerbie, knocked away. Reed Myers. 
Gets it down in the post to Rembert. Rembert! All the way across the key, he now has four points. MVU trails now by 12, thanks to Reed Steigles and his seven points on the evening. So BFA leading 29-17, 2.40 to go in the second quarter. Johnston now handing the ball for MVU. Hands it off to Myers. I think they may get William Hughes with the reach in from behind. It is indeed. That is Will Hughes' second personal foul. Team second of the second quarter. 228 left in the first half. Ball into Rich. Rich goes to his left hand. Nails it. He has four points. MVU trails 19-29 with 2.15 to go in the second quarter. A nice pass for Tabor Rich with the defense. Now MVU called for the foul. Reed Seigels will go to the line for two. MVU foul on number 12, Gage Rembert. That's his third personal. So now MVU has two players with three personal fouls, Gage Rembert and Gavin Nichols. Two of their five starters as Reed Steigles hits the first free throw. That is the team's third foul of the second quarter. Seigels goes two for two. He has nine points. Puts BFA up 31-19. Gavin Nichols playing with his three personals. Hands it off to Reed Myers. To Rich. To Nichols. Running a three-man weave at the top of the three-point line. Trying to shift BFA's defense just enough. Nichols trying to use the screen from Rich. Closely guarded by LaValle. Michael LaValle overall with some great perimeter defense on that play, but at that last moment gets caught with a foul. That's his first personal. Team's third of the second quarter. But Brady Cutting with the clean defense. Drew to Burge. Preventing the clean layup. Able to get a hand in that passing lane to knock the ball out of bounds. So 1-11 to go in the second quarter. Evan Gothier will pass it in for BFA on the baseline. Goes way up top to Reed Saggles. And they're gonna get Tabor Rich with a foul. That is Tabor Rich's second personal foul. Team's fourth of the second quarter. One oh seven to go in the second quarter. Coach Walker taking out 
Gavin Nichols with his three personal fouls to preserve him for this last minute. Three pointer, too strong. Offensive rebound by Justin Munger. But he's called for the foul with the body from behind. Now, folks often call that an over the back foul. One of the common misconceptions, there actually is no over the back foul, technically, what the call would be. is that Munger got the person who's boxing him out with his body pushing into him from behind. Under a minute now. MVU seeing if they can get this game within single digits before the end of the quarter. Or at least within 10. Running their three-man weave again. Tabor Rich tried to go with his left hand, knocked away. Eventually, Justin Munger ends up with it, and he'll be called for the double dribble. Thirty-two point six seconds to go in the first half. Gavin Nichols bringing the ball up for the Thunderbirds. To Reed, once again, running their three-man weave. Overloading the left side. 10 seconds. Cole Johnson inside to Rich. Rich finds Luke Sherman on the opposite block. Sherman's. First two points of the game brings MVU within 10. At the end of the first half, BFA leads MVU 31-21 here at BFA St. Albans. Now before we send you to halftime, we have a special message from NCSS. Over the last four years, Northwestern Counseling and Support Services has been in partnership with the Afterglow Foundation working to prevent suicide deaths in our community. If you are concerned about yourself or a loved one, there are people in our community that can help. Reach out to NCSS 24 hours a day on our confidential emergency services line at 802-524-6554, then press one. Or you can always dial 988. One call could save a life. We're at halftime here, BFA leading 31-21. We'll be back on the other side for the third quarter.
Welcome back to BFA St. Albans on this Wednesday evening. Game that was rescheduled from Monday due to the snowstorm. BFA leading MVU 31 to 21. I'm Bryce Batchelder. Thank you so much again for watching Northwest Access TV. This broadcast would not be possible without our community partners. Thank you to Northwestern Rehab <laughs> Services, Sticks and Stuff and Swanton Lumber, Northwest Counseling and Support Services, Afterglow, Notch Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank, and the well, Collins Curly well, Sports well, and well. Fitness Center. If your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games of Franklin County athletes, contact 802-782-8676. Again, BFA leading MVU 31-21 as we start the third quarter. Some scoring leaders for you for oh, MVU, oh, Reed oh, Myers oh. with 10 points. The only player in double digits for either team. Gage Rembert and Tabor Rich each with four. Luke Sherman with two and Gavin Nichols with one. And for BFA, Reed Seigels leads his team with nine. William Hughes with seven, Brady Cutting with six. Justin Munger with four, Gabe Howergan with three and Evan Gothier with two. Three-pointer too strong from Justin Munger. MVU looking to bring this lead back within single digits for the first time in a while. That three-pointer is short. Justin Munger with the rebound. Now we're getting over to Hughes. Hughes looking around. BFA sticking with their 2-3 zone. Three-pointer from the corner. No good from cutting. Rebounded by MVU. Johnston going to put up a three of his own, and that one is good. Johnston's first points of the night brings MVU within seven. Now trailing 31-24. One minute into the third quarter. Already Evan Gothier heading to the scores table to check in at the next dead ball. MVU's defense inside has been stellar so far tonight. Much of BFA's points have come from outside or getting fouled. Tabor Rich's effort to no avail. BFA quickly going down the other way. William Hughes closely defended out of bounds, but off of MVU. A lot of BFA's points have come from either the perimeter, free throws, or the fast break but mainly in their half-court offense when they get the ball into the lane. MVU's defense has been very good about collapsing the zone. As I say, Evan Gothier hits the corner three. He has five points, puts BFA back up by 10, 34-24. But generally when BFA gets the ball into the lane, MVU's defense collapses and has been very effective at forcing a turnover. Good wraparound pass from Reed Myers to Cole Johnston. Excuse me, Gage Rembert. Rembert now with six points. Three-pointer good for Brady Cutting. He now has nine points. And that puts BFA up by 11, 37-26. Just over five and a half to go in the third quarter. Tabor Rich with the strong post move. He has six points. Out of bounds off of BFA. MBU ball. Cole Johnston to inbound for the Thunderbirds. Myers starting the offense for MVU. Gavin Nichols playing with three personals. He's going to put up a three. Off the back iron, rebounded by Steigles. Brady cutting now. Into the corner. William Hughes will throw that one up. Just a little too short but doesn't give up on the play. Knocks away the ball, takes it himself. Strong layup off of his miss. Had to steal the ball back away, but it pays off. He now has nine points. BFA up by 11, 39-28. 4.45 left in the third quarter. 
get a kick ball called. Outside to Myers. Myers guarded by Gothier. Picks up his dribble. Finds Nichols. Back to Myers. Myers for three. No good. Will Hughes with the rebound. Drives down the lane. Is fouled before he kicks out the pass. Three pointer does not count. Ball tipped away by Rich. Now Nichols. Nichols with three points now. MVU back within single digits, trailing 39 to 30, halfway through the third quarter. Will Hughes gonna shoot the three, no good. Brady cutting right there for the rebound. And is fouled on the box out. MVU foul called on number two, Reed Myers. That's his third personal, team second of the third quarter. Corner three, just no good. But who's there? None other than Reed Steigles. Steigles now in double digits with 11 points. BFA leading 41 30. Myers closely guarded by Gothier. Pass knocked away. Will Hughes keeps it with the left hand. Hughes now in double digits with 11 points. BFA extending their lead to 13 of 43 to 30. 315. 316, excuse me, to go in the third quarter. Coach Matt Walker electing to use a timeout. Back from the timeout, 3.16 to go in the third quarter. BFA leads 43 to 30. Largest lead of the evening for the Bob Whites. MVU with possession. Cole Johnston. Tries to pass the ball inside. Tabor Rich ends up with it. Short on the fadeaway. Brady cutting with the rebound. Oh, excellent vision. Nice pass from Brady cutting to Evan Gothier. Give Gothier seven points. BFA now up by 15, 45 to 30. Rich with the free throw line jumper. No good, but is fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. BFA foul on number 42, Reed Steigles. His second, team's first of the third quarter. Taborich misses the first. Joshua Young coming into the game for the Thunderbirds. We'll give Reed Myers a break. Rich goes one for two from the line, has seven points. MVU trailing 31-45. 
Just over two and a half to go in the third quarter. Another three. Goodbye, Will Hughes. Give him 14. BFA starting to run away with this thing. Up 48-31, 2.20 to go in the third quarter. Tabor Rich. Wrap around layup, no good. Credit the strong defense from Seigels. Another three from Brady Cutting. He's in double digits with 12 points. BFA up by 20 now. 51-31, under two minutes to go in the third quarter. MVU had jumped out to a quick first quarter lead. We're up 10 to eight before BFA went on an 11-0 run. And BFA hasn't relinquished the lead since. Will Hughes goes to the left, blocked. But fouled. Foul called on number one, Joshua Young. His second, team's third of the third quarter. 133 to go in the third quarter. Hughes makes the first. And makes them both. Will Hughes now with 16 points. BFA now up by 22. 53-31, 1.33 to go in the third quarter. Tabor Rich with the ball. Cole Johnson trying to set up on that elbow. Not a clear passing lane. Now gets to Johnson outside three-point line. A give and go back to Rich. Rich just barely missing that one. Bounces out of the rim. BFA coming the other way. Another three-pointer good for Brady Cutting. BFA's third three-pointer in a row in terms of field goals. Now really running away with it. Up 56-31, 50 seconds left. Saggles misses the dunk. And it's going to be called a technical foul for hanging on the rim. Seigels and Coach Menard are arguing that they were players underneath him and he had to hang on the rim for safety so he wouldn't land on them coming down. Doesn't change the call. I think what they're explaining is there were guys underneath him. He could hang on the rim while players were underneath him, but he also pulled himself up on the rim and that's what the technical was. I think if he had just hung on the rim and not pulled himself up, he might have gotten away with it for player safety reasons. And that technical foul does count as a personal, so Reed Seigels has three personals now. Myers won one for two from the line, so he has 11 points. 48.7 seconds to go. MVU with the ball. Nichols weaves through the lane. Myers stuck in the corner, gets it back to Nichols. Nichols heads for, toward the free throw line, but is fouled. MVU will take the ball out along the sideline. BFA foul on number 22, Davion Jones, his first, team's third. 34 seconds exactly left in the third quarter. The 
official fixing the spot where MVU is supposed to inbound. Myers in the corner, puts up the three. Reed Myers. We'll go to the line to shoot three. Foul happening right in front of the table I'm sitting at, and I could indeed hear the slap. Call on Reed Steigles. So that's his fourth personal foul because of that technical. Reed Myers hits the first. As BFA is fourth team foul. 31.7 seconds left in the third quarter. Myers misses the second, has one more. It's Justin Munger is going to check in for the Thunderbirds. Myers goes two for three in that trip. He now has 13 points. But MVU still trailing 34-56. 30 seconds left in the third quarter. If, uh, MVU with the steal, Joshua Young. It'll be called for the travel. Found the slippery spot on that low block. 20 seconds left in the third quarter. Gothier to Jones to Cutting. Cutting back to Gothier. It's going to go baseline. Too strong. No good on the foul, follow from Lockerbie. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. BFA leading MVU by a score of 56 34. Starting the final frame here at BFA St. Albans. BFA leading MVU 56-34. This broadcast would not be possible without our community partners. Thank you to Northwestern Rehab Services, Sticks and Stuff and Swanton Lumber, Northwest Counseling and Support Services, Afterglow, Notch Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank, and the Collins Curley Sports and Fitness Center. If your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games, of Franklin County athletes. Contact 802 782 8676. MVU with the first possession of the quarter. Justin Munger is going to be called for the reach. That'll be his second personal. Again, remember this year, team fouls reset at the end of each quarter. So now that is the first team foul for BFA in the fourth quarter. Corner three, up for Johnston, no good. Gothier with the fast break. Now has nine points. BFA up 58-34. Looks like Cole Johnston may have rolled his ankle trying to defend the layup. He's coming back limping. And Coach Walker Going to take him out. So Drew Taburge will check into the game for the Thunderbirds. Long pass, aiming for Taburge. Justin Munger flying in there. 
try to intercept, but it's a lot of Taburge. And Munger going to be called with the foul. That's going to be his third personal. Team second of the fourth quarter. 7.26 remaining. Pass off the foot of Gabe Howergan. Nichols with the ball. Now Myers finds Rich. And you've caught in the corner. But they're gonna get Brady cutting on the foul. That's his second personal. Team's third already in the fourth quarter. Two more BFA team fouls, and MV will be in the bonus. It just takes five team fouls this year in any given quarter for a team to reach the bonus. And again, no one and ones anymore. Automatically two shots. MVU swinging the ball around. Myers puts up the three, no good. Ryder Morris with the offensive rebound back out to Myers. Myers three, no good, but he's fouled by Will Hughes. Myers will get three free throws. That is Will Hughes' third personal, team's fourth in the fourth quarter. Just over a minute gone by here in the final period. Myers pass down low to Rembert. Rembert to Morris, Morris! Gets his first points of the evening. Got there with the offensive rebound. Out to Cutting, 4-3. Cutting has 18 points. Gavin Nichols is going to be teed up. Team starting to lose their cool a little bit. Gavin Nichols, fourth personal foul, MVU's first team foul of the fourth quarter. Nichols arguing that he was pushed first, but nevertheless, the retaliation gets him a technical. Never mind, not a technical. At first, they had signaled that it might be that. Not a technical, just a personal foul. Either way, Nichols going to take a seat. But MVU ball. Foot on the line. No good. <laughs> William Hughes with the breakaway layup. Touched the rim for good measure. Now with 18. BFA up 63-36. Attempt by Chevrier, no good. He's right back in the other end, gets his own rebound. And is fouled. Foul on number two, Reed Myers, that's his fourth, team second. We got another foul called on MVU. 
That time on 21, Caden Chevrier, his first, team's third. Reed Steigel's at the line to shoot two. This is the first. Misses both, but gets his own rebound. And he's going to go right back to the line. Call this the Nick Anderson play. Play that pains me as an Orlando Magic fan. Back in the 1995 finals against the Houston Rockets. Hopefully Reed Steigles will fare better than Nick Anderson did. Tabor Rich called for the third personal. Team's fourth. Steigles misses the front end of this try. Misses again, this time Tabor Rich secures the rebound for the Thunderbirds. Rich tries to split the defense, loses the handle, but keeps possession. Now to Johnson, up top to Myers. Johnson, looking around closely guarded by Hughes. Johnson telling Myers to come over and take the ball. Three point is up. No good for Ryder Morse. Hughes has been crafty on the break for the Bob Weiss this evening. Draws the fifth personal foul on Reed Myers. So Reed Myers done for the night. He finishes with 13 points for the Thunderbirds. That is MVU's fifth team foul. Both teams now with five team fouls. Again, going to beat a dead horse because it's early season and it's a major rule change in Vermont high school basketball as William Hughes hits the first. Fouls reset after each quarter. Five team fouls puts the other team in the bonus. And there is no more one and one in Vermont high school basketball. Every bonus free throw is now automatically two free throws. As William Hughes makes them both, gives him 20 points. Got here. Down low to Munger. Munger gonna turn around jumper. That one is off. Gavin Nichols with the rebound. Brings it up for the Thunderbirds. Down to Chevrier. Passes it out to Elias Lucier. Getting his first action of the night. Johnston. Back to Lucier. To Chevrier. Chevrier looking around. Three is good for a loser. Comes into the game, hits a three pointer, his first points of the night. MVU bench, mighty happy for Lucier to hit that one. And it was a beauty. But on the other end, William Hughes draws yet another foul. Foul on number 14, Cole Johnston, his second. Hughes hits the first. BFA getting ready to empty their bench.
Hughes hits them both. I think Will Hughes' night is likely done with 22 points. He certainly did the job. BFA up 67-39, just about halfway through the fourth quarter. Rich, guarded by Jones. Jones with the steal. And we'll get an MPU foul on the loose ball. I think called on Gavin Nichols, which I believe will be his fifth personal. So Nichols now. Headed to the bench for the rest of the night, finishing with three points. And Davion Jones to the line for two bonus free throws. This is the first. Goes 0 for 2, rebounded by Sherman for the Thunderbirds. Johnson going to handle the ball coming across midcourt. LaValle trying to force Johnston to his left. Finds Sherman at the elbow. Sherman off the backboard. Nice Tim Duncan-esque jump shot. Sherman has four points. MVU trails 41-67, three minutes to go in the game. Three-pointer up. And bounces in. For Wyatt Patterson, his first points of the night. BFA leads 70-41. 2.45 to go in the fourth quarter. Johnson going to go to his left. Turns and goes, takes it himself, baseline. Johnson, who had hurt his ankle earlier, back down. Lest we forget, Luke Sherman scored those last points for the Thunderbirds. He has six points on the evening. Johnston heads to the bench. I think his night is likely done with a hurt ankle. Jones with the fight down low. Kicks it out. Three-pointer, no good. Another offensive rebound for the Bob Whites. Swinging the ball around. Corner three, too strong for LaValle. Joshua Young. Pass it over to Lucier. Gets the ball into the key to Rembert. Rembert fouled. PFA foul on number 24, Michael LaValle, his second personal. Gage Rembert at the line for the bonus free throws. Ball just bounces out on the first one. But goes one for two. Remember with seven points. MVU trailing 44 70. 156 to go in the final quarter. MVU still putting on a Full court press. Corner three. Short offensive rebound and put back by LaValle. His first points of the night. BFA up 72-44 with 134 to go in the fourth quarter. 
BFA student section tasting victory, starting the It's All Over champ. Another corner three. Good for Nicholas Bilzuska. Jones now with a chance. Davion Jones with the left-handed layup. His first points. BFA up 77-44. 102 left. Young, stolen by Jones. Layup no good from Laddison. Loose ball. Jones tried to save it. Goes out of bounds on the opposite sideline and MBU ball with 48.2 remaining. <laughs> Young going to his left. Guarded by Laddison. Young trying to make some space. Thought about the fadeaway. Passed it to Chevrier but stolen by Laddison. 20 seconds to go, Laddison. Fouled. And what? Laddison's first points. Foul on number three. Elias Lucier, his first. Laddison misses the extra free throw. 15 seconds. Stolen by Patterson. Coach, Coach Menard trying to tell his team to just slow down and hold the ball and run out the clock. They don't need to score more points. Five seconds. Last second three pointer. No good for Morse. Bounces off the supports, 2.5 seconds remaining. And that's going to do it. BFA going to come away with the 79-44 win. Some scoring leaders for tonight for the Thunderbirds. Reed Myers led his team with 13 points. Gage Rebert and Tabor Rich each with seven. And Luke Sherman with six. For the winning Bob Whites, Will Hughes led all scores in the game with 22. Brady Cutting had 18. Reed Steigles with 11. And Evan Gothier hitting a few threes with nine points. Before we leave, a special message from NCSS. Over the last four years, Northwestern Counseling and Support Services has been in partnership with the Afterglow Foundation, working to prevent suicide deaths in our community. If you are concerned about yourself or a loved one, there are people in our community that can help. Reach out to NCSS 24 hours a day on our confidential emergency services line at 802-524-6554, then press 1. Or you can always dial 988. One call could save a life. This broadcast would also not be possible without our community partners. Thank you to Northwestern Rehab Services, Sticks and Stuff, and Swanton Lumber, Northwest Counseling and Support Services, Afterglow, Notch Vermont, JC Image, Union Bank, and the Collins Pearly Sports and Fitness Center. If your business would like to support the efforts of Northwest Access TV to help broadcast live games of Franklin County athletes, contact 802-782-8676. Again, BFA with the 79-44 victory over MVU. My name is Bryce Batchelder. Thank you to Will, our on-site videographer. And thank you so much for watching Northwest Access TV. We will see you next time.